Hey everybody, this is Cool Scratch Tutorials. Today we are going to be going over a very basic gravity script for any sort of character in Scratch. Gravity is basically a script that will make your character continuously fall down until it hits or touches some sort of ground. Last video we ended off here with a motion script allowing us to move the character back and forth. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you do, and there will be a link in the description below. The first thing that we are going to want to do is go down to the bottom right and click the paint selection. Right now we're going to be making our ground for a character to stand on. I'm set at size 8, I'm going to click the line tool, then I'm going to drag and hold, and now we have our ground. I'm going to go right here, and then rename our sprite ground. Let's click back on our other character and go back to the code section. To move, your, to move your ground, just select it on the top screen and just drag it to wherever you want it to be. So I'm going to drag it below Scratch Cat. Click back on Scratch Cat. And now we're going to make our gravity script. First thing we are going to do, right now we're going to go to the variable section and then click on make a variable. We are going to be calling this fall. And then I'm going to select for this sprite only. Click OK. Now, now we see there's the fall up here and there's a separate section for fall. Let's go into events, click green flag, click drag it in, go back to the variable section and then press set fall to zero. After that, we're going to go to a control section, drag in the forever loop, and then we want to go up to motion, and then drag in a change Y by block. Go back to variables, and then click the fall button, and you can drag it in and place it in the change Y. So now oh, Y will always be changed by the variable fall. So what we can do is drag in the change fall selection block and then type in negative one so now he will always fall downwards now scratch cat will always fall downwards so I'm gonna drag him up here we can see that he falls down but we want to have solid ground we want him to stay on the ground not just go all the way down to do that we're gonna go into the my block section click make a block and we're gonna call this touching ground. We'll want to press run without screen refresh, then press OK. Drag in the define touching ground. It should be there once you create the block. After creating the block, we want to go back into variables, press make a variable, and we want to call this falling question mark and select for this sprite only. We want to drag in set fall to zero, click the little arrow and change it to falling. Next, we're going to go into control and then drag in a repeat until blank. Then we want to go into operators and then not, drag in the not block. After that, go into sensing and drag in touching mouse pointer block. Click the little arrow and then you want to select ground. Then after that, you want to drag in a set fall to zero, drag in one more set fall to zero, change that to falling, and then go up to motion and change Y by one. After we created that script, we want to go down to my blocks, drag in the touching ground block that we just created earlier, and then put it into the forever loop right here. Now if we drag Scratch Cat all the way up here, we'll click it and he'll stay on the solid ground. So right here, the falling variable records how long we have been in air. When it senses we are touching the ground, it will set it to zero and that will tell us that if it's sensed to zero, that means we can stay still. We can see that he's hovering up one pixel above the ground and that's what the change Y by one block is doing. 
So basically, he is continuously falling until it senses that we are touching ground. And once it senses we are touching the ground, it will make us stay in place. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you learned something new, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And stay tuned for the next video teaching you how to create your very own game. Goodbye.